I'm Son Young Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. Do you like my new haircut? <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to show you how to make Chinese beef and broccoli. Woohoo! Double B. Yep, yep, yep. It is super simple but super delicious. Everybody loves it, right? So I had to create at home and I cannot wait to share with you this recipe. All right, are you ready? <laughs> so I have this half pounds of beef. Um, today I prepared a New York steak, but you can use any type of your favorite steak or beef cut. Like, but I recommend either sirloin, New York steak, or chuck would be very good for this recipe because they are tender when they just cooked. So I'm just going to trim out some of the big chunk of fat. So now I'm just going to slice it to one bite size. I like to cut them thinly so they will cook really fast. All right, place the sliced beef in a mixing bowl. So in here, I'm going to season with one teaspoon of soy sauce and one teaspoon of Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking wine. You can either skip it or you can substitute it to regular rice wine. Teaspoon of cornstarch and quarter teaspoon of baking soda. If you wonder why I'm using baking soda, go watch my um, orange chicken recipe so you know why I'm adding it. Some black peppers, just a little pinch of it and mix it everything with your hand. Set aside this beef mixture and we are going to marinate them. Meanwhile, we are going to make the sauce and preparing the vegetables. I'm going to make the sauce first. You will need a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, one heaping teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of cornstarch will thicken the sauce, and some more Shaoxing wine, we will need a tablespoon and add a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to add about a teaspoon. And whisk everything together so all the cornstarch and sugar will combine into the sauce. All right, set aside the sauce right next to the beef. Now it's the time to prepare our vegetables. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to roughly chop two cloves of garlic. and then about half a month of ginger. We won't need a lot of ginger, just for flavor. We are going to chop the ginger really fine. So set aside the ginger and garlic, and we are going to cut our broccoli. Today, I prepared the broccolini. <laughs> I love them because their floral is a lot more looser and tender than regular broccoli, um, but you can definitely use regular broccoli or Chinese broccoli or whatever broccoli kind of thing that you want to use. So I'm going to trim out the end of broccoli, I mean broccolini. <laughs> And then I'm just going to cut them in half, like a diagonal angle, like I think they call it like a French cut or something like that. Just like that. All right, it's time to cook. Um, I'm going to heat up my wok, the highest heat I can go. And I'm going to pour one cup of water, about one cup to two cups. It really doesn't matter how much you put it in. I'm going to bring this water to boil to blanch my broccolini real quick. All right, my water is boiling. I'm going to add my broccolini and just stir. We're going to just maybe cook one minute. We don't want to overcook them because I still love to have this crunchy bite from the broccolini. All right, it's about a minute. I'm going to turn off the heat in a strainer with a dish underneath so the water wouldn't dropping on my food. <laughs> Just drain them. I'm going to throw this water away. <laughs> I didn't even rinse it off. Just gonna turn on the heat, really high heat. All right, when your wok is completely dried, I'm going to add two tablespoons of cooking oil and add chopped garlic and ginger. Then add the beef. I'm going to cook this one side of the beef really crispy and nice golden brown 
It would take about one minute for my stuff, but it's really depending on how strong your stuff is. It might take a little more longer than one minute, or it might take a little shorter than one minute. Flip them over. Oh yeah. I'm going to cook another side for about a minute again to nice golden brown because I want nice golden brown and crispy edge on the both sides. All right, when you barely see the red part in the beef, now we are going to add the sauce. Just gonna stir fry for about 30 seconds. The sauce is really thickened and beef is fully cooked. Now I'm going to add the broccoli and then just toss. You know broccoli is already cooked, so doesn't need to cook a lot. They just need to kind of mix it with the sauce and beef all together. That's it, and heat back up. Turn up the heat and add green onion and maybe a teaspoon of sesame oil. Just stir in, and you are done. Whoa! I made it. Putting on right top of my jasmine rice, and oh my gosh, the smell from sesame oil, ridiculous. Just gonna sprinkle some little more sesame seed. And there you have it. <laughs> Ta-da! Beef and broccoli, yeah! Homemade. <laughs> All right, are you ready for this? Oh man, eat my beef and broccoli and drink some beer and I'm good. If you liked my beef and broccoli, give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today and remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Jung Long Guest and this it's Asian at home. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mm.